Good afternoon, I'm Sylvia the Crafty Old Lady, and today is day uh, 15 of December Daily. So, what I want to do, my, my grandson's other grandma sent me some pictures that she had taken of him, and I want to put them in on this page, but I want to cover this up, and I've decided to use this paper, which I cut down to the proper height, but what I'm not just putting it on as a background what I want to do is make it like a door that you have to open up so I have to find the center of the page and I'll use my centering ruler for that where are you and um, let's see right there is about the center. Oh, no. Not right there. <laughs> Let's see. It's more like here. So I'm going to fold each side up to the line that I just made. Now, I've done this before where I've used like a wooden that looks, uh, you know, a piece of paper that looks like wood slats or fencing or something like that. And that looks really cute, too, because it looks like a fence door opening up. But we're just going to go ahead with this. And we're going to make the back a pocket. And we will do that by only gluing down three sides. And now you can glue, like, part of this down if you don't want a deep pocket. And that's probably what I'm going to do because I don't have any giant tags that I want to um, put in there. So I'm going to go all the way up each side like, and then about halfway up the, from the bottom. And then we'll have a pocket oops, um, behind this, this little cover page if you want to call it that. And I can still see a little bit on the top and the bottom and the sides, but that's okay. Nothing has to be perfect. And then I'm going to make a little pocket here with some kind of paper to actually set the photos in. And today I can show you one of the photos. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? He's got his bajali little trapdoor Christmas jammies on. He's looking at his Christmas tree. And he has hair exactly like my son had, his dad had, when he was little. Back then, the, t the uh, style was like a little tail, like a little rat tail coming down. And he's starting to get one. But I don't think my daughter-in-law wants him to keep it. <laughs> it's not quite the style anymore. But uh, he's so sweet. Oh, gosh, he's so sweet. Anyway, okay. I'm going to put a little pocket down on the bottom and then maybe we'll put something here to keep it closed and then it can be a little surprise when you open it up. Yes, I think we will do that. So I've got some leftovers from this set and I really think the um, Christmas lights would be a good one for this, but I'm going to reinforce it with some cardstock. Alright, so I have my little pocket reinforced and I inked it in green and I think that looks so pretty edged in green and I really regret not doing that to this page. I think that's my biggest regret of the whole junk journal so far anyway. Hopefully it will be my only regret. And then we're going to put that like that. Actually I forgot I wanted to also cover this up with maybe maybe this. Actually, I think that looks cute, and I think I will do that. All right, so we have the background, and now we're going to put these, this little pocket on there with some carpet tack. And then we can um, make our closure. I think this is going to be cute. I think this green polka dot paper would be good for that. Now, when making these kind of closures, I usually like to make them three discs thick 
just to make sure they're nice and sturdy because they will be holding string together and um, um, the brads inside. And so that's what I'm going to do now is glue my little pieces together. And I like to also have them double sided eh, just in case you can see the underside for some reason. I doubt that would happen, but you never know. So there's my first one. And then I gotta get my brads out and see what I got. Some cute little button ones would be nice. But I also have some silver ones, I think, or like a bronzy color. Or the little teeny mini ones that I've got. We'll see. Let's see what we're going to do. Well, I found two little green button brads, so that's what I'm going to be using. And I find it literally impossible to figure out where the middle of a circle is. If there is some formula or trick to it, let me know because I can't do it. I'm going to just eyeball it and go through but all six layers, if I can, so that at least both circles have the whole and <laughs> the same general vicinity. Well, there we go. And we'll just put those like that with our little button, with our little brad buttons, button brads. And yeah, I think I'll push them a little farther apart so that there's space for the, uh, you know, the string to wrap around. And then of course I gotta try to do it as exactly on the other side, in the same parallel line. Okay, so we got that. sure I'm on camera. That goes there. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna try to eyeball it a little bit. Not eyeball it, but hope for the best and make a little mark where the hole should be. I would say right here. Right about there. Let's, uh, I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> it might be a lopsided. It might be a lop lopsided door pull or door handles. <laughs> I could always move it, I suppose. Oh, I think that's close enough. There we go. It probably is a little higher on that side, but it's close enough for me. I'm going to get a little tie. We'll put this in the pocket, get our numbers, and call it a day. All right, I have got some red, uh, what do you call it, wax linen thread. I'm just going to tie this in a knot around this side, underneath the circle. Let's make it a double knot, shall we? Okay. And then we'll just take it over here and wrap it around this one. And you can... Um, sometimes they go back and forth. I didn't like this and then like this. Mine's not long enough to do that, so I'm just going to do that. And it's closed. We just got to remember which way to un unwrap it. We'll put pictures of my grandson admiring his Christmas tree in. That's pretty snug, but it works. And that's it. I will now get my numbers. So I'm going to cut the seven down and we'll have, have a number 
15. How are you all doing today? Uh, doing well, I hope. So there we go. 15 again. <laughs> With a weird little one. Put it on the bottom. I don't know why. I usually like them on the bottom better. Okay, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're happy, healthy, and safe. And let's just open up. I don't remember which way I did it. Open up our little door and see my cute little grandson in his pocket. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you again for December Daily number 16. Bye-bye.